By 1592, Shakespeare had become well known as both an actor and a playwright, and in 1594, he became a member and a financial shareholder in a newly formed group called the Lord Chamberlain's Men, after the title of their patron. Like other playwrights, Shakespeare was paid only a small fee for his work, and the manuscript became the property of the theatrical company. One member of the company, called the Bookholder, was responsible for the manuscripts. Often there was only one complete copy of a play in existence, and it was used as a prompt book during a performance. The Bookholder also prepared a scene-by-scene -scene outline called the plot, which summarized the action of the play. The plot was important to the actors because each of them had no more than a partial manuscript containing only his own lines. Over a period of five years, the Lord Chamberlain's men appeared in two or three different theaters. Then, in 1599, they moved to their own newly constructed theater, which they called the Globe. As a shareholder in the new theater, Shakespeare was entitled to receive 10% of the admission fees paid by the audience. Like other theaters in London, the Globe had very little scenery. Each setting was established in the minds of the audience by the words that the playwright had assigned to the actors. In Shakespeare's play Henry V, each act is introduced by a prologue. Act four begins with a description of the night before the Battle of Agincourt. Fire answers fire, and through their paly flames each battle sees the other's umbered face. Steed, threatens steed, with high and boastful nays, piercing the knight's dull ear. <laughs> 